OpenAI is challenging a lawsuit from the New York Times in the court of public opinion. In a blog post, the company said the lawsuit lacks merit while suggesting the Times isn't providing a complete picture of the situation. The Times claims copyright infringement, asserting that OpenAI and Microsoft use their articles to train their chatbot, ChatGPT. The lawsuit argues that the Times stands to lose customers and revenue if it's forced to compete with ChatGPT as a news source. But what is the full picture? Is OpenAI working within the confines of fair use, or could this litigation open the door to crafting a new framework for such assessments? As a copyright lawyer and academic like yeah this is the first thing that i wanted to know that's professor matthew sag a professor of law at emory university he specializes in the intersection of intellectual property and generative ai generative ai is kind of a, a, a slippery term i mean what we're really talking about is uh, sort of a subset of machine learning programs and the way machine learning works is that rather than starting with a theory and then, you know, testing that like a normal statistician, you basically throw an incredible amount of data at a model and the model keeps tweaking itself in successive rounds of training, trying to get better. Courts have indicated that large language models, which process huge amounts of data to generate abstract information about copyrighted material, may qualify for fair use under U.S. law. However, this is a nuanced and debatable issue, particularly concerning potential infringement concerns. One of the things that's really impressive about the New York Times complaint uh, is that they show like a lot of examples of, hey, you didn't just learn abstract things about what a good English sentence sounds like. You kind of seem to have learned how to copy how works exactly. You know, the New York Times has produced what looks like some very impressive evidence. Quite frankly, I was shocked at how impressive the evidence was. Uh, but that evidence has not been tested. For example, you can head to ChatGPT and ask it to summarize Shays' Rebellion, a farmer-led uprising in Massachusetts in 1886. The generative AI spits out 150 words summarizing the movement within seconds. Or you could prompt it to write a song in the style of your favorite artist about drinking a cup of coffee on a snowy day. That brings to the question, where did that information come from, and how can you be so sure it isn't a direct copy from official sources? These are called regurgitations, or memorizations. This means the model might generate text that's similar or identical to phrases, sentences, or passages from the data it was trained on. It's a phenomenon where the model appears to reproduce or memorize specific patterns from its training set, rather than generating novel or contextually appropriate responses. In response to the Times' lawsuit, OpenAI says, the regurgitations the New York Times induced appear to be from years-old articles that have proliferated on multiple third-party websites. It seems they intentionally manipulated prompts, often including lengthy excerpts of articles, in order to get our model to regurgitate. But, you know, the NYT complaint, it's, it's impressive. And, you know, if what they're showing us really is representative of you know what the gpt4 is doing then you know you're gonna you know they're hard put to argue that it's a non-expressive use i'm still skeptical but i think it's one we have to you know we have to wait and see how it plays out OpenAI and Microsoft have not submitted formal counter-arguments in the new york case they are required to answer summons by january 18th